I'm a millionaire. What's up, world? How y'all doing? This is comedian Ambrose Jones, and this is Let Me Think About It Podcast. I think that's the name, but we'll let y'all know if it switch up later on. But, you know, I'm here with two of uh, two funny co-hosts, you know. To the right, I got my boy Rob Love, and to my left, I got my girl Two to Two Times. And, man, this episode number one, y'all in for a good treat. Uh, this, we are going to be talking about uh, Memphis uh relationships baby daddies and baby mamas in this mother so that's going to be uh episode number 1 we all baby daddy or either baby mama i think everybody in here so one person I'm that nigga baby mama. Okay, she a baby mama too. See, we got a lot now, to talk I'm my, about. I'm my baby auntie now though, because my son's 25. Okay, I'm cool. Living. And this is what I want to ask y'all. Um, like, I don't, do y'all refer? Y'all want to be referred as to uh, baby daddy, baby mama, or do you prefer mother and father? I know my baby mama tried to talk to me to me. I said, "Hey, baby daddy, can I get?" I'm like, first of all, I'm a father. That's what the hell I am. Ain't no damn baby dad. But uh, that's what we're going to be talking about on episode one, y'all. So y'all tune in. Uh, to the right, introduce yourself, man. Let them know who you is. <clears throat> What's up, y'all? I'm Rob Love. Uh, shout out to and my boy Ambrose Jones, me and their Grand Studios. Me and this young feeling good. It's a good vibe, man. So I'm, I'm here to, what, what do we think about the podcast? Yeah, that's what you said. I <laughs> We asked, wow, what the name of it going to be? Uh, let me think about it. I said, God damn it, that's it. What let us think about, about it. it. <laughs> okay. And to the left, who we got? I'm, uh, my name is Tootie Two Times. I'm a mother and a baby mama. <laughs> I took my name because, you know, I'm, a lot of niggas get me pregnant, so I'm just going to go on and keep it real. That's why she stuff. on the show, because she keep it so real. I ain't going to just book. tell the you truth. Say a lot of ain't no other woman just going to keep it 100% authentic like a Tootie Two Times. That's things. what I appreciate about I'm pre- Tootie I got time. pregnant by a plethora. See, she said some, some of the babies I kept Some of them I did But <laughs> And you know um, We take shots for the one That didn't make it <laughs> This is to My little home bed My little embryo <laughs> This my is to embryo. My little embryo Little embryo man, didn't That's make what we here to talk about Man I'm a I'm a father. My son just turned 18. Happy birthday, uh, uh Rashad. Rashad. Uh, Rashad. Happy birthday, Rashad. You know what I'm saying? I got one. Times he gonna turn 18, though. Uh, no, he's 19. I'm sorry. I'm I don't know. I know he's grown, and I'm off child support. Right. And uh, that's a that's a blessing, man. Uh, this is what I want to talk to the fathers and, and the mama about. Uh, Rob, look, when you had your first kid, do you know if the mother... Put you on child support, or she was getting assistance from the government, and they put you on child support. Cause I was thinking, like, I don't know who did me, but I just know I got did in. You yeah. know? So, do you know who did it? Uh, often, like I do every night, I did myself. I did. Nigga, myself. you took yourself down yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, I took that's myself. Different. Nigga, hold on, that's, that's kind of smart that's though. Different. It was ahead of the game because let me tell you, let me tell her why. Because if he don't, and she wait till the kid get ten, they gonna want more. They gonna want all that back pay. That nigga smart. For them. They come come look Ooh. for me. Plus, my, my my sister was a baby mama at the time, mm-hmm. so she knew the strategy that was the smartest strategy. The nigga, that's I consulted the wisdom of my. Sister. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? She let me know, hey, you need to go ahead because I was in college too. You know, what I'm mm-hmm. I was just going to college, so I knew I need to make sure I ain't in no situation where I'm packing up. A, a big bill, you right? Because you just had a baby. That's you know big enough. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm going. I'm getting paid to go to college, so you okay. know, that's a difference. You know what I'm saying? But then, you know, uh, that that rearage and all this stuff, they gonna they gonna come and get you. Oh uh, yeah, you can go to jail, dad. For, like, nah, that ain't that ain't what's gonna happen to me. So let me go ahead and get this little number. Yeah, I, I went sat, down there. I sat, what? I sat up there with a little number, and, and they was like, okay, you in college, you can do. 25 a month. You know, okay. Like a week, 25, oh, damn. 25 a week. It was like some, you know what I'm saying? It was, it was low. Okay. You know, so. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, two to two times. Uh, we Did you put your uh, first kid's father on child support or you let the government do it? Um, I'm going to be real. I gave the nigga a fair chance. I said, <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm going to keep it real. I said, um, you know, I had, I had a job. I was working at Family Dollar and I needed somebody to watch the little nigga, and 
He didn't. Damn. He Just didn't. Little nigga. <laughs> he didn't. His 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 granddaddy, my son's grandfather. He didn't. So you know, didn't nobody want to get him. So I had to quit my job, and Damn. Uh. and you know it was hard for me to work because you know he ain't never want to do his part, and I ain't never go put him on child support. What happened? I um I got in hair school because I was doing hair at home. And I just went out and was like, let me go and get some license behind this shit. Because my mama keep fussing at me about this traffic in and out of her house. So I need to get some some paper behind this thing so I can get in a shop or something. So I was going to hair school and um, they paid for it because I was a single mama. And then I went on and got my kids a stepdaddy named DHS. <laughs> she keeps it so good. DHS. Uh, DHS. Hold That's on, too. DHS. When you was doing her at your mama's house, was you selling anything else on the side? Yes, I, know I you was. Were yes, See, yes, that's yes, what I'm talking about. Yes, I was. Can you disclose what, because, you know, it's in past that time. Can you disclose what you were selling? We. If it wasn't. <laughs> we. Know, we. we CD, if it was drugs, anything, you can say that. Weed and CDs and, you know, just. Bummer. Yeah, she had too much traffic at her mama house. Yeah, I did. <laughs> <laughs> she had women and niggas coming in. Like, I'm not thinking uh, y'all can y'all head down too. No, nah, I want that new Master P uh, ghetto dope. Yeah, yeah and uh, I went on and got the kids in daycare so they can go, so I can go to school. So, in order to get the daycare voucher, you gotta put the nigga on child support. Mm, and I really right. didn't want to put him on child support because he ain't had shit. So why would I put somebody on child support that ain't got shit? Okay. I was having things better than he was. Okay, you know why? He I, had the time. That was that what he was supposed to be. You know why? Ask who did who did what? Uh, you know why? Ask who did what? Because most fathers out here. Uh, most fathers out here be thinking the mother just go down there and put them on child support. My scenario was I was working at UPS at the time. I'll tell y'all, drive since two. You said I was at Family Dollar yeah. on the mark. Yeah. You know, she get real specific. <laughs> yeah, right. uh, <laughs> I was working at the UPS at the time, and uh, man, I ain't gonna lie, man. I wanted to be in the house with my father, with my son all the time because I didn't have that, and I was like, man, when I become a dad. I'm going to stay there with my boy. That, that's what my plan was, but I don't think I had enough experience and I probably didn't see enough of that to do it, but my intentions were well. So I was working at UPS. I was doing good. She didn't work throughout her pregnancy. I thought I, I was doing a good dude. So about three three years old, see, maybe it's about three years old, we, we separated. And I got my own spot. She got her own spot. And then we negotiated a price what we were going to pay for the little nigga, like two to see. <laughs> <laughs> and so, so we came, but I was making good money at the time. You'd be able to pay like $23 an hour. I was driving, but if I go to the hood, I'd be making 15 something for the truck. So I was doing real good. So we discussed like, what we discussed, two, two forty. Three some hundred a month, and you know, it's still got to take care of little nigga. When you come pick him up, you still gonna buy him shit. So, wouldn't worry about that. About three months after we discussed what I was gonna give her every month, nigga, I get a letter in the mail for child support. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think she went down there and got no government assistance. I think she probably, I think she went down there and put me on. But nevertheless, it's still all good. Uh, yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. And I just got one. Rob, how many kids do you have? That's crazy, man, because both of y'all stories got a little bit of both of my stories in it. You know what I'm saying? Because my baby mama was going to high school. And then my mama was supportive at the time. My mama was, like, kind of holding it down. You know what I mean? Like, she let us, she, she let us live down. So she, really, oh, okay. <clears throat> she really was like, you know what I'm saying? Like, okay, y'all own business. We're going to make something happen. I'm in, I'm in school. She in her school, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But then she ended up dropping out of shit, stopping bullshitting, and then that that messed the whole little rhythm up. You know what I'm saying? But I got I got three kids, mm-hmm. uh one biological, you know what I'm saying? Two okay. two kids, um, you know, just love. Man, God. that's love right. God see, God see, they don't yeah. see that too. You a girl, you better than me. Man, you know what I'm saying? Man. I know, I know, I know the design of life. You know what I'm saying? We all here to take care of each other to some degree. You know what I mean? Man, you so show better than me, about, bro. You know what I'm saying? You can meet people that's like, you know what I'm saying? That's like family that ain't blood. So I mean, that's just. I look up to you, you know for that. Man. You, that's good, man. You taking care of two other kids that ain't even your. <laughs> Boy, you a <laughs> I, I be bad to want to take care of this motherfucker. He mad, but I'm this nigga taking care of an extra two. 
nigga, this nigga, this nigga, like, this, this nigga, 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 this this nigga, 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 <laughs> to the, to the, to the, to the, what about you? I just got one. That's I have it. four. Okay, and let me, hold on. Before we you explain your, let me tell you why I only have one. I, I think I didn't do a really good job with the first one, and I ain't want to dissatisfy two motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? I I, know the I know I ain't got it in me to... <laughs> I ain't want to know. I just, like, no, no, I just uh, seen Shannon Shaw with a, a John Cena interview. John Shannon Shaw asked him, "Man, you don't, you don't want no kids?" And he he kept it real, man. I just know I can't do what it takes to to take care of a kid. So I, I'm not even gonna do it. And I learned that about me after I had my son. <laughs> 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 okay, two to go here. <laughs> I have four, three boys, one girl. Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow. That's and, dope. Um, well, I mean, that's three, three different, different daddies. Okay, three kids, three different daddies. No, four kids. Oh, four three. kids, three different daddies. Okay, cool. Oh, okay. I lost count too. Okay. Yeah, I did right. Oh, you got got Hold on, on man. Pull your fingers out. Carry the one. Carry the one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Two got the same daddy. That's right. the one who got the the uh, step daddy name DHS. Okay. That, he was the first one. Yeah. Oh yeah, two back. Came back twice. Yeah. You, okay, you okay. spent the well, block. Really, he really ain't the first one because I was pregnant when I was fifteen, and that's the embryo that we take shots for. Oh. Oh okay. Yeah. We <laughs> need <laughs> action. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> okay. So you got rid of one of. Them. Yeah, that's the embryo. And hey, you know what? I'm gonna oh, keep it real sure. too. I I can't just sit here and let two this. That's not good. You know I what mean, I'm saying? I really didn't get rid of it. It got, <laughs> got rid of itself. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, you know that joke I got about you know talking about Roe versus Wade, and I say, uh, you know, my son came into the room the, uh, last weekend and said, my mama told me y'all had abortion before me and got rid of my brother or sister. <laughs> And I was like, I don't know why she tell him shit like that, but I was like, that is the truth. You know what I'm saying? We did. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You yeah. shot up the club once and then came back yeah. and shot up the club again. Yeah. And then, you know, when the second, when he got here, he was like, nah, I can't do that shit. Can't do it again. Can't have that, that on my conscience. Yeah. So I'm glad he here, man. Cause, yeah. So, uh, yeah, that's it. So the kids are here. Uh, I want to talk about the relationship with the, with the, with the parents, with the, with the baby mamas, Rob Love, with the with the baby daddies, too. Uh, mine, uh, my son just turned 19, so we don't, you know, we ain't got to talk that much. We good. <laughs> we we good right now. And I think we did a wonderful job with the with the one I got with him. I think that we did a good job with that. Yeah, yeah. You know, think, despite the circumstances. I think my upbringing affected how I, you know, uh, view, viewed uh, Me too. my relationship with my, my kids' mom, you know what I'm saying? Um, like, my dad was such a, a, a great father that I wanted him around more, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? I didn't like this, you know what I'm saying, the divorce. Or their dislike for what, for one another, whatever situation they couldn't be around each other without arguing. I can't be around arguing, so I don't like to argue. But I want my dad at present. You know what I'm saying? Mm. So I want to be present. Man, you can't have both of those. No. <laughs> as you notice, and, and, as you got older, and, and with my kids' and mom, it was that. And we either together and arguing, <laughs> right. or, or I got to be away and see my kids <laughs> right. on, on separate. You know, Man, that's crazy. So that was the difficult part because I want to be uh, a father that's there. Every day. See, I wanted you wanted that too. You, know you wanted that. Dope, you know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? But then, you know, I got to take responsibility. You know what I'm saying? My penis did what it did. You know what I'm saying? So I can't really be like, man, I, you know, whatever, whatever. But I'm happy with the result. But I feel like it could have for sure been better. Been better. Okay, would you do it again? Would you have another kid? I will have another kid. Damn. Boy, but not, we saw, you ain't talking about what this. No, this, just, this, just okay, have okay. another baby. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You would have another? Yeah, I would. Damn, this man better. Yeah, with the, with the. With the right woman, 
with the right mentality. Where they do that at, Rob? Look. Now, they they pretty. They're around. <laughs> yeah, man. They might, now, they might be. Okay, they, Rob, you almost 50. Have you found it yet? They may flip. I can't say I haven't found it. I ain't gonna say. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Joking. I know I'm just saying. saying. I'm just saying. You would do it. The situation is right. Yeah, if I feel you like would do it again. Like, for sure. If it's, if it's the, some things that's in play. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like financially good. Uh, my, my travel situation good where I can, you know, bring my child along, my kids, mm -hmm. my mom or my wife or whatever that choice is at that time, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. You better than me. I wouldn't have no more. I think that's it for me. Unless I get like a twenty five year old. A a grown you have a grown up child. Twenty six year old woman. You know, she young, she'll bring out the you know what, well, I might go and do this with you. <laughs> I shoot up the club again. But not with no woman over forty. Oh. Uh, yeah. No, that ain't, that ain't, no, no. What's that, what's that called when they have babies over 40? Geriatric. Geriatric. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, high yeah. risk pregnancy. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Know. Then name a Jardine. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> two, two, two years old, talking about saying, hey, Jardine, come here, Jardine. <laughs> I'm not bad at what I'm saying. Sound like she got a ponytail. Sound like bang. she sound like she come with a movie. <laughs> <laughs> Geraldine, bring your little bad ass here. What's her last name? What her last name be? Geraldine Jones. Boy, that's an old lady yeah, name. Jones. She two years old. Middle <laughs> name gotta be Louise. Ah, and a then a, she a real throwback. My grandma name. Geraldine Estelle Jones. Oh no, it's Estelle. Estelle. They don't make Estelle no more. No, she gone. <laughs> R.I.P. too. So, Tootie, what you have anymore? You got three, you got four. What you have anymore? No. You said no. No. And then, see, this is my thing about us humans. We say, no, I ain't having no more kids, but then ask me, do I have a vasectomy? No. So, I'm just talking shit. Tootie, do you have your tubes no. out? Well, how you going to stop from getting pregnant? Because you just talking shit. You, no, 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 no. I ain't say it, did I ain't say see, it. See, she's a veteran now. She no. know how to. She know what she know bring. She said she know how to. She know how to stop it. I said if it go in, she can tell about the breast count. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <you can. laughs> Sound like my baby. They got, they, got, they got train rides and airplanes to go to Chicago all the time. Oh, she taking that trip. Oh, you didn't got bold. Okay, you resorting back to your old. Okay, no, 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 no. So free of choice. And see, that's, that's, that's the thing. I, I'm I'm pro woman's choice. Now I can tell you what I I prefer. Right. But it's I'm I'm really is your choice. Okay. Let yeah, me see. Let me, me. I wouldn't even tell a nigga that I'm pregnant. You would, you, you just so G. Dog. You would just go and get rid of it. Yeah. I mean, I tell you probably like two three years later. You know that day when you ain't pull out. Man. <laughs> I took everything out that you left in there. Well, you might well just go and get a tattoo on your stomach that say, go on, let it off in there. Uh, no, man, this is a little cemetery plot. <laughs> <laughs> go on, let it. See, that's what I'm saying. We don't want no more kids, but are we doing what we need to do to prevent don't, not having no more kids? Yeah. I, I say I don't want no more, but... but you know what I'm saying? What if that thing slip off one time and then... Let me ask a question. So, Tootie, I know we end up, like you, said, you mentioned some Roe versus Wade or something. I said that. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. You mentioned it. This is my question. If a, if a, if a guy shoots off in there, let it go off in there. Let it off in there. And then <laughs> uh, you, you present it to him. You let him know, hey, this is what the situation is. Does his opinion matter? Like if he say, I don't want you to have it, or he say, I do want you to have it. But it's fine, the final decision because it's your body, it's your choice. Does that, does his opinion matter? We wouldn't make it to that point because I just told you I wouldn't. She's going to get rid of it. <laughs> no, I'm just saying, I wouldn't tell you I'm, that I'm, I'm pregnant. I'm saying, I'm saying in a hypothetical situation and you have zero kids and this is a situation where you're not sure if you want to have kids. I'm sorry, I didn't set that up right. We ain't talking about in a situation where you finna abandon the ship. We saying if you finna just, you know, it's a new situation where you ain't been through the child process. If you if a guy if you ask a guy hey, if you tell a guy I'm pregnant and his his response like I don't want no baby but you can do what you want to do then you know what I'm saying we just gonna hold hands on the airplane or the or the train that's you know? Chicago y'all can take Get that seven and a half hour drive <laughs> no we don't get quick. but okay. see when you have an abortion they don't let you drive oh okay damn. That's why I said I would catch the airplane or the train and then just go by myself. Okay. 
in, in Memphis, there's a lot of places that uh, you can meet somebody. You got you got FedEx, you got UPS, you got the club, you got you got the grocery store. It's just Memphis big, but then it's small. I want to know where did y'all meet y'all first kid parent from? That's hilarious. I, I would I would let me say mine first. I know this might sound kind of weird, but I met met my baby mama on the chat line. Damn. Wow. <laughs> Damn, Rob, you gonna do me like this? Nah, I, 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 you was a real mother. I runner. said, wow. You had to be a real You couldn't hunter. go to the stove, nigga? You had to be a real Lazy hunter. ass nigga. That was Rob. I was like, wow. That was the first internet. Like, that's how you just mean, like, without so, even, they was just fishing. So, for the people out there that don't know what the chat line is or wow. was, it was real big here in Memphis, Tennessee. Like, that was our club. What was your name? 3244348. It, I, I never did did like Ambrose, I love it now because I do comedy and it's different. I love it. I embraced it, but I didn't like it at first. I'm like, man, my name Chris, a cool nigga name. Chris, just some straight to the point. <laughs> I met my, Lying like a motherfucker. I met my first baby daddy in sixth period. We were kids. Wow. Damn. Okay, see, I've been sixth knowing period, each other for a while. Sixth period, and then two weeks later, y'all had a baby. I mean, <laughs> she thinking about. Hello, it. How, how, what grade was y'all in the sixth period? I was in the 12th grade. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, okay, that okay. is. Oh, okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, what about you? Alicia, I want to know, well, I'm, of course, I met the, the one when I was 15. Mm. Well, I met my first boyfriend when I was 16. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah.
and you know don't actually have nothing serious with them. Let me ask y'all this: Do you have? Do you think somebody with no kids can tell somebody that have kids what to do and what not to do? I think she owns to some. She might not have no kids because she know how to dodge the bullet of a baby daddy. Mm. Mm. She's not <laughs> married because she know how to dodge a bullet of a husband. Mm. Just because somebody don't have something don't mean that they can't get it. Mm. Okay. That's good. That's good. From a woman perspective, what about you, Rod? You think somebody uh, with no kids can tell somebody with uh, one kid or multiple kids how, how to do it and how not to do it? I mean, if you think about the, uh, the phrase, don't shoot the messenger, the messenger does not always come with the experience, but they come with the wisdom of what needs to be heard. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? So I think sometimes a person can share some real real wisdom aside from their experience. Now, I won't take all people without experiences knowledge, but like I said, it depends on what the message is. And that sounds like that message has some value, and especially in the sense where some women who, if you got, if you got ten baby mamas already, mm-hmm. and the next chick is okay, hey, I'll be a number eleven. You know, she really about money. She really about finance. And ain't nothing, ain't nothing. I ain't gonna say wrong with that because I'm not a judge. But some people out here have sex with somebody who who don't have no money and end up with a kid. That okay. situation. So, you know, she may know what she's talking about, or she may have some logic in her perspective, even though she ain't experienced. Yeah. Okay. This is my point. Okay. She don't have any kids. Not in a relationship. Never been married. She telling them about having different kids by different women. Uh, we all, you know, experience failed relationship with people who we done had kids by. We know how hard it can be. You know, it's cool when y'all are there together, but once that baby comes, this is finna be another dynamic. You know, it's another human being finna come in. Y'all ain't finna spend much time together. Like, we know how rough that is. And for her to come in who ain't never had no kid, I think... That man, you you, you know, unless she would have had one kid, then she'd know. Something. But if you ain't had none, like you know how hard it be. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Especially when kids come into play. And I think, what if you meet one woman had three kids by her, and then that don't work out, which we all know that could happen. You meet another woman, shit, y'all get cool. You had two more, like. I think as long as everybody's straight, they good on their side. I don't think she can just come in and tell no man how to do. It. You know what to do, and you ain't had not one baby. I definitely understand that point of view, but again, like it, it don't mean you're wrong just because you yeah. ain't had it. Like, like I said, if, if a woman or a man, like if a man lay down with a woman who got, you know, what I'm saying, no offense to four kids, three different baby daddies, you know what to put possibilities. You know you can beat baby daddy number, number four. Five, number four. You know what I'm saying? You could be that next next dude on the team. We can be on the team waving at the... <laughs> I sure got a baby daddy group, You know what I'm saying? You said you could be on the roster. You know what I'm saying? So you coach him like, hey, come on, son. Like, because like, we got a squad now. Mm-hmm. You feel what I'm saying? So, you know, I think it's it's, it's about the wisdom you, you hear it not versus taking perspective on where it's coming from all the time. Yeah. Okay, me personally, I ain't want to have no more. Uh, you know, I can barely deal with one of my baby mama. I ain't want to deal that, with that. That's what stopped me several from shooting other off. women. That, that would kept me from shooting off. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but yeah, man, that's good, uh, man. I believe we touched on a lot of good uh, subjects, man. Y'all tell everybody where they can find y'all. I'm comedian Ambrose Jones. Y'all can hit me up on Instagram, YouTube, blowing up comedian Ambrose Jones. Uh, subscribe, follow me there. It was Facebook, uh, Twitter. Just type in Ambrose Jones. Ah, my name gonna pop up, man. This show. Download JPay. Put in inmate number six six zero eight eight five. Damn. <laughs> I'm being serious. You still life. put money on your books? Yeah, I'm. I'm on probation. It's like you still locked up. And on the next episode, who done been to jail and who ain't? Okay, it's two to two time. T O O T I E, the number two, and T I M E S. That's, that's a hustle. They still letting you put something on the book like you locked up. Yeah. You can follow me at Rob Love Funny on Instagram, YouTube, all of it. Dollar sign. Well, cash out too. Dollar sign Rob Love Funny. R O B L O V E F U N N Y. You hear me? And we are at uh, Millionaire Grind Studios. Yeah. Y'all make sure y'all support the black owned business. Support uh, Purpose Given Tees. Purpose Driven Tees. Pur- PDT. PDT. Purpose Driven And the Buzz Memphis. Uh, go to the website, PurposeDrivenTees.com. Uh, is it MillionaireGrind.com? Just fuck the whole promo because 
it's not right. No. But no. No. Come on. <laughs> she could. She, she said been it's not for right. A long time. Well, you go to uh, like Millionaire Grind. Follow them on Instagram, Facebook, man. Y'all get more info. We'll see y'all next time. We appreciate y'all.